Hello YouTube, uh, here is my in progress Browning M1919. Now, this is probably my toughest project, even though, actually it might come second to my quick revive machine over there, but not worrying about that right now. Uh, well, it's not fully functional with shooting and everything like my double blast shotgun is, but you know, it's still pretty good. Um, Still have to change a few things on it. I'll probably, I'll have to make the barrel longer if I want it to be realistic. It's supposed to reach out to probably the end of my bed, not where it is now. You know, but, oh well. It's the best I have. Like I said in my, well, what I said in the first video, I believe, is that I'm on a tight budget. So, in that tight budget, I'm just using a lot of scraps for my dad's work. So, you know, that's some of the scraps. Um. I use Nerf bullets because that's all I have right now. I don't have any realistic looking bullet things, but that's good for now. I don't really care. Because <clears throat> it'll look like a Nerf gun anyway if I don't want to get in trouble in public by taking it out there and just randomly acting like I'm going to shoot it. Um, this opens up and inside I have where my bullets sit. And I have, you know, that little detail right there. I'm not really sure what that is, but that's on the actual gun. I have this. You probably want to know what the handle is. This handle is from an old Nerf gun. That old Nerf gun is the Deploy CS6, which is also partially where I got these bullets from over here. So... What I did is, since my brother was just trying to mod his nerf, his deploy one time, and it didn't go very well, so he it fell apart, and so I just decided I would use this. I used it for a number of other things, trying to make an Enfield or, you know, Stoner 63, but that's not that didn't work out. And since those are Cold War era weapons, it wouldn't really fit in anyway. Um, what I did is I just taped it to this thing. And right now I'm not going to have a tutorial, but I can just tell you what I built for it. So, you know, I just tape this right here to this thing that goes into the gun. You can use whatever, I don't really care. You can glue it in or anything you want for that to work. And, uh, you know, I used this box. I had it trim down a lot. Probably was reached out to about here before. It was about this tall, and it was about this much wider, which I regret actually trimming off. But, uh, you know, that's how it worked. Put these details on the side. This little thing right here, I'm not sure what that's called, or if that's even has a name. And this thing right here, it's a triangle-like shape. The box for the sights, and I will show you the iron sights. I still have to edit those to make it look better. First person view. But, uh, you know, it'll probably look really realistic when I spray paint it. And after I spray paint it, it'll probably be done. Maybe add a few more details to the inside of here, you know. But it's for easy access to get in if I need to change something. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And just like I've said before, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll bring more to you later. Make sure you check out my introductory video and all my other videos. And uh, so, yeah, I'll see you later.